Warning, this video contains spoilers for Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Hey everyone, Ravenous here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood. Last time we made our way back to the main base after freeing the Al Alamegan Quarter, and we have all the preparations set up to storm the gates. Except we have a couple of side quests to do to go along with the Aether Currents we found. So, once we get these two Aether Currents, as well as the other side quest that popped up. Other uh, two side quests that popped up. We have four of them. I did, admit, didn't see this guy through through uh, Doris here. We'll do these side quests and then war. All right. You you were the one who granted a favor to Lord uh, De uh, Drelibor. Would you be so kind as to lend me your assistance? I am uh, uh, Pimasol. A Kahurigan dispatched from White Room Front. This war, no matter how well it is waged, continues to send an endless line of wounded to my station. Thus, no matter how many supplies are brought in, I continue to work through my stock at an alarming rate. I thought to resupply myself by drawing on the resources naturally available in the region, and a renowned soldier such as yourself uh, could certainly expedite the process. The resistance fighters tell me that gigantic frogs which inhabit the la land of the south, Abaddon's, uh, I believe they are called. Would you think it is possible you can slay several of these creatures and bring me four lengths of their tendons? Okay. Lieutenant Kura here, I presume. I have spoken with 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 members of the Scions, and if I am if I am to be so bold to ask, is it true that you learned some far eastern technique for moving underwater freely as a fish? Sure did. It was not an exaggeration. Incredible. Would you willing to put your ability uh, to use for us? If so, I have an agent stationed underneath the towering steps by the law who would dearly love to speak with you. Alright, so they want to know about my, uh, my, my blessing of the sea. Alright, we'll head down here. There should only be two more down here, unless another one's hiding behind an, uh, underneath another symbol. I don't think so, though. <clears throat> Alright. Lieutenant Curry, I have a mission that requires your immediate attention. A squad I dispatched to secure a watchtower in the south of here has sent an urgent request for reinforcements. The structures seemed abandoned, according to our scouts, and I thought the, uh, thought the few men I sent would be sufficient for the task. It appears I was wrong. They were ambushed by a superior force. My remaining soldiers have left on other duties, and I fear the Watchtower squad may not survive until the rest of our company can reach them. You may be their only hope. Pray, make haste to, to South uh, Southwatch and rent rendezvous with our resistance fighters there. Which, was that over? Yeah, it was over by the Aether Current I found. Okay, so that'll have to be my first stop. Unless you have a warrant that's on the way. <clears throat> You're ravenous, aren't you? The famous soldier and adventurer. It might, uh, it might be a, uh, it might be that I'm asking above my station, but I could ask, but I could use your help with a bit of a problem. I've been tasked with rounding up a couple nasty wavekin, and I have to admit that I. That I have to admit to the fact they are too much for me to handle. For here, like you, however, I suspect they'd, they'd be not more than a spot of light exercise before bre breakfast. Have you seen those monster yabbies crawling about south of White, uh, White Isle? I I have some large hemp sacks you can use to drag them back here. Just be sure to tire them out a bit beforehand. Any fight left in them, and they'll rip right through the sack with their spiky tails of theirs. So the disconnects are still happening a little bit, but that will make do. I can edit them out for you guys. All right, so my plan is to go to uh, Southwatch, work my way up, get the frogs, get the fish, and then talk to the guy. That should cover everything in a timely manner. So, but, so the reason I want to go to Southwatch first is because we need to go on those upper paths to get there. So, oh, while we're here, uh, set home point. Thank you. 
All right. Oh, I should uh, make sure my uh... yeah, my stance and my chakra turn off after I disconnect. All right. All powered up, ready to go. So we just gotta run off this way. Put the gloves away. We'll put the. I'll put those away later. But yeah, eight the courage. Just have the two side quests and the main story, and then we're good to go. Under the bridge, so green stop. All right, I see our target destination spotted. That tower right up there. Oh, that lightning was perfect. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to script that better myself. <laughs> That's the tower we're going after. Lightning crash. Okay. I love the, the those kind of dramatic events. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Is somebody following me? Oh, they're over there. Okay. I was wondering if they were headed here too. All right, up we go. Go away, you. All right, we have to fight you, don't I? Ah, uh, come on, Featherfoot. We got work to do. I just have to take this guy out because, you know, he's going to be in my way. And these guys seem to be full 360 proximity on their aggro. They don't have a line of sight thing. How you doing? Aren't you a, aren't you one of the signs of the seventh dawn? By Rogger, they sent one they sent us the bloody warrior of light. I've heard all the tales. I should probably tell you what happened. The tower looked empty as we were told it would be, but we barely made it to the top of the stairs. Then something appeared out of thin air and attacked us. Maybe several somethings. I was just flailing my axe behind me, hoping to discourage whatever it was while I pushed the wounded ahead ahead of me back down the stairwell I suppose I suppose you'll be going going up there and deal with our ambushers then if you don't uh, if you don't mind I'll stand guard here and look and look after my comrades injuries all right yeah I actually didn't go in here last time I just went around the tower I know, I'm supposed, I know I'm supposed to be fighting, but man, look at that! See the entire upcoming battlefield from here. Neat. Okay, yeah, so it is like it's just a straight push. That's where the majority of the, the combat is going to be. Just right out over that bridge over there. Okay. Let's take care of this uh, problem first. Oh, there's three of them. Well, riddle of Earth. Okay, let's give you a swift uppercut. Alright, riddle of fire time. And bam, you're done. All right, they're dead. But yeah, our camp is over there. The fall of the path. There's that bridge where the probably the majority of the fighting will be. 
Just right up to the castle. Meanwhile, we have friends over in that. Over there is the Alamegan district. So they will hit them from the side and flank them. It's a good strategy. Alright, back down we go. Alright, your ambushers have been dealt with. Ah, oh, so, uh, the sounds like uh, that sounds like uh, Druva's. That does doesn't get a, didn't get a good luck look at them myself, but I'm glad I no longer need to. You have our thanks. A few bandages have seen my fellows right, so we should be able to finish up here. Please pass pass my report to uh, Captain Topher. Good. Now I need to work my way back down without getting myself killed. So I can go after those frogs. Need four of them. Luckily, everything else is like on ground level. So we should be good. I can work my way down this way. Checking to see if there's any easier ways down. There we go. This should do nicely. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, no, I don't think so. All right, so we'll have two more after this one. Oh, good job, Featherfoot. My turn. So I'll go for him, and then I'll go for that one. Because we're heading north anyway. There we go. See, now that we're close to get getting the ability to fly. This this area doesn't feel nearly as bad as I did when I first started and it had to take the north path. Oh my god, that was terrible. But we are on our way. Give me a few seconds to make it. Four, three, there we go. Get the stacks. And a little tornado kick puts you down, and we're done with that. Done with that. All right, so that was those were the the two side quest, basic side quests. Now these two are the ones that will give me my eighth occurrence. Oh, it's these things. Okay. Alright, I need you on healer stance for this. We're going to take it easy and not use uh, damage over attack. Can I put you in a sack now? Okay, I can do it about 30. That's good. So.
so we have one more to get. And then we're going swimming. And a punch. You went right to the side. I keep positioning in case thinking uh, Featherfoot's going to stay where he is. But I forgot that he's on healer and wants to be next to me. I swear he's like one of my dogs. Alright, now if we stun you, I should be able to throw a sack on you, no problem. Like that. Not a problem at all. You can go back on free stance. Though I'm not going to need you for this next one. Maybe. Likely. Probably. I haven't fought one of those before. It's gross. Okay, moving on. As we go under the bridge. Uh, let's not go in the water yet because I can't... Because uh, that'll dismount me and I don't want to deal with that just yet. So technically, technically this would have put me past about two of our... Uh, if the we found, but eh, that's in the past. It's neither here nor there now. So are you on the bridge? Oh, no, you're right there. Hi. Oh, Lieutenant Kurahi. Lieutenant Doroth said you might be on your way. Uh, ready to get your boots wet, are you? I should probably begin from the beginning. One of the soldiers we captured during the battle at uh, Castor Malbania was uh, was concealing a map on his person. The map was marked with a curious symbol, but no matter how hard we ca cajoled or threatened, the prisoner would not tell us what the symbol's significance. This naturally piqued, our curio they piqued the curiosity of our commanders, and they immediately ordered a search of the marked area. Now the problem is that the area is mostly, cover mostly covers the water, and we found nothing of interest up above. Meaning, this secret, whatever it is, must be down below. We are eager to, we are eager indeed to enlist someone of, with your apparent talent for underwater exploration. I've circled the spot on your map we'd like you to investigate. If it turns out to be something you can bring back, pray do so. Be careful down there. Okay. And where's my sploosh? There it is. So we're going down into the depths. So likely, oh, I think it's right there. Imperial material. Nice that it uh, was so easily easily spotted being by the color difference all right now there's one thing I'm, I've been curious about for a couple episodes now but it's this right here because these are showing a, a tunnel I have no idea where this tunnel leads I believe oh is that a doorway that leads into the castle, maybe? Oh, I wonder if they're going to send me this way in. That'd be neat. So we'll just have to remember about that. For now, we need to go back and talk to the lieutenant. Or not the lieutenant. Agent. I'm the lieutenant. That. Remember your rank, soldier. Alright, so let's get out of here. Swimming back up to the surface. Wow, I was down deep. There we go. Thank you, Fenrir.
All right. Anything of interest? How about this Imperial Material Crate? This looks like an Imperial Material Crate. I doubt anyone would bother sinking ordinary supplies, so I say we take a look inside. Doll's breath, the thing is, is filled with a brim with gems and jewelry. What I can tell, these all, these all seem to be of uh, Giravanya design. In fact, I say it's a collection of the damn near royal of damn near royal quality. The bottom of the lock is not where I choose to keep such valuables, so it's safe to assume that they were acquired in less than honest fashion. Our prisoners prisoner likely hoped to hide them down there until his stint in the army was over. Rebuilding a country is an expensive job, eh? Alamigo's royal family is no, is no more, but we should return these to, to our citizens nonetheless. Thank you for braving those waters, Lieutenant Kurihi. Pray report back to Lieutenant Doroth, and, and I will see that cr this crate transported safely back to headquarters. And he's not going to keep it for himself, because I'm going to be reporting he found it. They're going to say, hey, where is it? And if he doesn't have it, he will be in trouble, and they'll think he stole it, so... It will get back to the right place. Oh, you're gross. I know I fought Nodkus before. Man, they look gross. Gross. Okay. But I don't need to fight them. I'll take care of them once they're on my hunting log, which I'm sure they will be at one point. I haven't had any other reason to fight them before. You guys, however, were in that instance a few episodes back. That's why you exist. Alright, I got your crustaceans. Were you able to capture those yabbies for me? Sure did. Oh ho, these are some lively nippers. I'll get them in, in a pen before they tear their way free. It's a good thing they're ill uh, it's a good thing they're ill-tempered though. Why is that you ask? Well, just between you and me, we're planning on using the the Yabbies as a secret weapon to disrupt the Imperial military camps. I'd love to see the look on a garlic officer's face to find one of these beauties running wild in this command tent. Thank you, Ravenous. I was growing tired of sewing up the holes in these giant sacks. Alright. Now we have two, three more quests to turn in. <clears throat> and then the final push. My men are no longer in danger then. I thank you for rushing their aid, Lieutenant. These drovas you encounter, no one is certain how they came uh, they came about, but one theory describes them uh, as a matter of naturally occurring golem, crystals that have spontaneously shaped themselves into monstrous forms. They appear and act at, like living beings, but they have no intelligence to speak of. All we know is they is that Juravas are drawn to other creatures in a relentless hunt for Aether. Giravanians have learned to loathe and fear, or and fear them. They use higher mercenaries to clear out uh, the worst of such nightmares, but it would seem the Imperials neglected even that simple task. They care not what what befalls the citizens of their of their conquered provinces. I'll take this news. Uh, uh, I'll take news of this incident to my superiors and see that any potential Druva hunt, hunts are properly scouted in the future. Again, you have my thanks. Haunts, not hunts. Whatever. Hopefully, they take care of the hunts too. That way, people don't get themselves hurt. All right, got these two more to turn in. Ah, uh, itchy. I think I said a while ago I needed a sham, and just got too lazy to do so. Okay. <clears throat> Here are your medical supplies. Did the Abaddon's pose any challenge to you? No. Yes, yes, it should do nicely. See how how rubbery the tendons are? They should stretch far without snapping, making perfect for keeping bandages in place or strapping on wooden limb replacements. Weech Guardians developed many techniques for emergency field, field procedures during the centuries of the Dragon Song War. Though it says much of our history that we that we were pressed into, uh, to invent such treatments. A healer will always do what he must what he must to to save the life of life expiring before him is a calling I could not ignore. 
My apologies. I did not intend to delay you with my ramblings. I thank you for your help. Everybody delays me with their ramblings. All right. Welcome back, Lieutenant. Was there aught to be found? Uh, treasure. Royal treasure. A fortune is sold in jewelry, was it? That explains the prisoner's unwillingness to share. As my agent explained, we will see it. See to it that those valuables are returned to Alamigo's coffers. Thank you, Lieutenant Curry. This will go a long way to helping the nation recover from the ravages of war. All right, so. All Aethernet taken care of. All side quests taken care of. Aethernet. Aether currents. So. Let us. Push. Oh, personal favor, huh? Right then. I must go to my men. I shall be leading the first charge through the breach. Then we shall escort you with it. Then, then we shall head to the front. Pivot is command of our art artillery outside the gate. He will not be hard to find. Ah, uh, before you go, I have a final favor to ask. Give this to my son. He will understand. All right. It's a note saying, "Hey, by the way, you are adopted." It would be hilarious if he didn't know. Be like, I never knew. That'd be hilarious. You know, considering you know the the fact that you know Raupon is a giant Alamegan man and Pippin is a Lollafell. That'd be hilarious. As if for those I needed to explain that that joke to. All right. But I still hear the cheering of people. Their battle cries. Okay. Wonder why. Yeah, I don't see them yet. Maybe they're just that loud. I, for one, thought they might have not loaded in. But they were all around me, actually. Maybe not. No. Hey, stop it. Go away. Not fighting you. Uh, heavy. Not great. There's no avoiding you, is there? Uh, fine, attack me. Just don't put heavy on me, thank you. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, I don't see a need for all the cheering and whatnot. Oh well. <clears throat> To see our position here is secure. Lieutenant Alphano? Huh. What is it you got there? Oh, a package? That was just a letter. You said it was a letter, wasn't it? Oh. By the twelve. This is this is Tizona. The Bull of All Amigos legendary sword forged from two cursed blades. The sword is a symbol of everything my father fought to achieve. A weapon cleaved on the blood sands with it, and with it fortune and glory. Its flames consumed the unworthy, and but by fire he was reborn. That he should bequeath it to me now to carry on his legacy. Well, I shall endeavor to deserve it. But I'll be damned if this is his final battle. Once we begin, there'll be no respite till it's over. Are you ready, my friends? Very well. Brace yourselves. This should be quite spectacular. Vice Marshal, Vice Marshal, Imperial Unit approaching from the north. Aiming to destroy our, our artillery, are they? How many? Uh, total number unconfirmed. At least one squadron, but sir, they're wolfmen. 
Feral Dome? Bloody hells, that's all we need. Call up the Blood Sword. Tell them to make ready. Marshal Terrapin, wait. These wolfmen of whom you speak hail from Doma. They were coerced to fight into fighting for the Empire, speared away from into to a foreign land, and told if they disobey, the lives of their kin would be forfeit. But their homeland has been liberated. They have no reason to continue serving their Imperial masters. Ere you engage them in battle, I beseech you, grant us a moment to go and attempt to convince them to lay down their arms. That's a good point. I'm loath to give our, give our enemy more time to prepare, but if there's a chance that this conflict might be avoided, I suppose we must take it. Go then, but be quick. We will, Vice Marshal. With me, Ravenous. Yeah, I mean, if we can get them on our side, that'd be amazing. All right. So, up and then, or, no, I think I can go down this way. Or not, no, I need to go up higher first. Yeah, do you cross that bridge to the left? Okay, so we have an instance coming up. So what we're going to do is we're going to end this episode here because we're about uh, about at that time. Into the next, we are focused on war. So. If you enjoyed this, give it a like. Any thoughts, comments down below. If you haven't subscribed, click on my beautiful face. If you like to support these videos, check out my Patreon. And thank you for watching. Until next time, later.